On this episode of the NES Pursuit. Cuanto cuesta 25. The duo attempts to send off Toys R Us with a proper farewell. It was 99% off, so you only paid sales tax. Can you trust cheap prices on newer hardware? And the first thing I realize is these controllers look cleaner than normal. Ricky wanders off and finds something that makes the squad jealous. Bike. Five bucks? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Get ready for video games, churros, and borrowing money on today's wild episode of the NES Pursuit. It's definitely something you kind of never see, so it's cool. You guys ready to go visit the last ever moments of Toys R Us? Yeah. Literally the last day, right? I think it's the last day ever. So today we're just gonna get hit up Toys R Us for the very last time. It's supposed to be the last day and it's honestly kind of a bummer. Toys R Us. It's the only place where you can get toys. The big thing for me is this is actually the childhood Toys R Us. If it wasn't for this specific Toys R Us, there would have been no Superhero Game Squad, no Retro Liberty, no NES Pursuit. The Sega Master System with 28K of memory, super sharp picture, 64 colors plus game cartridge and all this, just $129.99. It's been around for, what, 70 years? 70, exactly. How'd you know? Dude, come on. When I called, they told me. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Fortnite? I don't like that. Is that you, Rip? He wishes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Again, I saw someone refer to us as the Disney Game Chasers. I think it, Jay's the one who came up with that anyway, so that doesn't bother me. Aaron's the skinny Gene King. It's absolutely annoying. So we get to Toys R Us, we see people walking in, and slowly we notice they're denying people entrance. Oh, that, dude, everything's sold in there. Everything has a sold tag. Even that big train. Wait, were they all off? Like kind of bummed out, actually. I'm bummed. They kind of wanted like a real farewell to this place and like put some cash down once and for all, like back in the days. It was 99% off, so you only paid sales tax. I'm so sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Toys R Us still holds good memories for me, but this is the one. It's done. But they literally just sold out of everything, so it's done. I'm sad. I was hoping to get more things. Love growing up with my Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us, you'll never outgrow us. And with that, just a few days later, we wake up bright and early at five o'clock in the morning to head to one of our favorite swap meets there is, Golden West. We're heading out to Golden West Swap Meet, one of the homesteads for us in game hunting, one of the biggest swap meets we know in this area. We're here at Golden West, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Look at this. There's no sun, so I'm happy because I don't have to get burned. So we're excited, some friends are coming. Let's do this, the squat's here. It's, it's game hunting, the way it should be. How to swap me. It's either here or there. So we're gonna find something, I can smell it. The smelly smell, it smells. Hey, what's up guys, it's Jer. Used to come out on the uh, old NES Pursuit videos. Glad to be back at it again with these guys. <laughs> oh no! So while we're walking around the swap meet, one of the first things I see that I plan on actually purchasing, kind of no matter what, I'm all about the Simpsons. I'm gonna see how much. How much are these? I go up to the guy, I say how much? Uh, that one's $3 each. $3 each? Would you do two for five? Three bucks each. I ask him, will you do two for five? The classic ask. Cool. 
two for five. Talking keychain and a talking beer opener, Simpsons. All I need is it to say Simpsons on it and me not to own it, and I'll buy it. It's a no-brainer. More Simpsons stuff coming home with me. Stop down screaming out money in a thing. Think about it. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Mikey over here. For the people that have been following the channel, you know who I am? Oh, it reminds me of the real one I have. It's nice and beautiful, it looks real, right? Look, like, he looks so happy right here. But is, is it that big? I can't do it, I can't do it. So as we're walking around, Gabriel and Jer kind of spot this Xbox One setup with tons of Xbox One controllers. Now we're talking. And the first thing I realized is these controllers look cleaner than normal. I'm gonna take the blue one right here. I want this one. Yeah. You know why? Because Xbox is the best. And normally, I don't really think about buying controllers from the swap meet, but this person I know is here all the time, so if the controller didn't work, I know I could bring it back. But the guy says 25 bucks when we ask him for each controller. Yeah, I like the blue one. Yeah. I like the matte color. That's not bad because these aren't like the normal color Xbox One controllers. These are like the cool different colors, the different variants. Feels good and this controller is beautiful, it's clean, so I picked one up, Jer picked one up, and Gabo picked one up. So we all got controllers, Xbox One, for a good deal to Swami. That's not bad for a controller you can trust. Ricky sucks! Everyone go behind him and pretend you're doing something. Oh, uh, how much for this? Now we can. For the durag? One dollar? Ah, man. Hey, now we can be a ah, No, I can't, I can't. It's not my brand. Okay, feeling a lot. There's, there's way too many of us out here today. Don't you give up! Riff and I walked into a booth and saw these really cool Space Invader toys. Jer and I's eyes kind of go over to these cool, like, display wind-up toy Space Invaders toys. So they, they, they're little wind-up toys? Yeah, there's like a yeah. little crank on them. It's like zip around. You see? These are cool. And uh, I'd never seen them before. Uh, turns out they're little wind-up toys. I like these a lot. I, I'm a How big. I'm a six, six. I'm a big fan of like uh, display. They're wind-up oh, toys. Display. And lately, as we've been saying, I'm super into toys, displays, accessories. So when we see these, I see a little six-dollar sign on the top. I'm thinking, I don't want to pay six. I was probably gonna do it anyway. You like Would problems? you do like two for ten? But as I'm saying that, Jer walks up. Makes the smart move, ask two for ten. Yeah, why not? Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we get it, two for ten, and now we have some cool, beautiful, colorful Space Invaders wind up toys. It's not something you see every day. I know it's not rare. It's definitely something you kind of never see, so it's cool. Did you used to watch Retro Liberty? <laughs> <laughs> This used to be one of my favorite, favorite games. I used to play basketball all the time, so this used to be my favorite basketball game. Have you ever played it? Where's all the Dragon Ball? So literally, I was kind of like feeling like, all right, there's nothing here today, so I just, I'm walking ahead of everybody. I just decided to go into a random, you know, I was going to random ones. I walk up and there's like a sweet little Pac-Man thing. I'm like, sick. How much for the Pac-Man? Five. If it worked, I was like, oh, if it works, maybe I'll get it. Turn it on, it works. <laughs> if the price is right, I'll get it. Five bucks. I was like, okay, all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, but so I got it. It's pretty cool. I mean, five bucks. 
I guess. Gracias. <laughs> Tell me, Jer, are you Jerless? <laughs> Dude, you do not want to fight me. I fight dirty. And who's then, a who's a better dealer here, Ricky or Jer? Uh, Ricky, because he can speak Spanish. Oh, get to get that it. That has it. nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I may be white. This one game I actually want them to keep make. Oh, another Left for Dead. Because these were some of my favorites. Look, guys. This is my hero right here. Hey, Kobe. You better watch out. You better not talk about my hero like that. Oh man, look at all this stuff. Dude, this show was on for the longest time. And then they remade it and it's all funky now. No, I'm not getting what you think I'm getting. Can you get a churro? You miss churros? Oh, that's awesome. You know, I still get them every weekend when I come. So technically, I miss them on the show. What'd you get? I had to go back for my drill. They weren't warm. <laughs> so we're about to leave the SWAT me and it's going into my brain of how good of a deal those Xbox One controllers were. But the problem is I didn't have any extra cash on me. Yes, I can go get cash. But we decided to go back over there anyway, and while we're there... That was cool. We're back. <laughs> we're back. I'm getting more tempted and more tempted. This gray and green one is one of my favorite designs of the Xbox One. All right, so... He's one of this too. We were gonna walk out, but I got that it's one. been no, haunting me all day. I always want to get controllers, good Xbox One controllers, and they still have them. So for 25 bucks each, we had, we had to come back. I was able to get it because Gabriel said he would loan me some money right now, maybe do a trade in order to get the 25 bucks back. Yes. Thank you. So he hooked me up, he took the trade, and we got the controllers. Feels good, feels good. Feels really good, actually. All right, so this is not a joke. Jer and I have been making jokes today, legit making jokes, saying the white struggle at the swap meet because you always get the bad deals. We were joking about it, literally. Real, real, we walk up to a booth, a guy's yelling 50 cents each. He doesn't know who we are, he didn't hear us talking. And Ricky says, oh, is everything 50 cents each? And what does he say? Only for Mexican people. <laughs> Only for Mexican people. Swear to God. The struggle of being a white man at a swap meet. Back to do a little trade. I brought a backpack full of some games to see if anybody wants anything. I open it up and Gabriel right away just looks and sees what he needs really quick. Probably we, I can take this too. Okay. Fail? You, that's if, that's I can, fair. How about I'll give you these two that you want and I'll give you, what did you want? You said there was something Spencer. Out. Spencer. Reefo just needs some money and I just took his game. Makes it simple. Zelda, Wii U, Wind Waker, and also Captain Toad Treasure Tracker as well. I'm giving him like a Bionic Commando toy I have at home. Oh, thank you. Deal. Thank you, sir. Deal. Deal. How much for resident? Deal. So to get this controller and to be able to do a trade to get it makes the day that much more fun and that much more easy going and an easy process. What can I get for a Kobe? Another awesome day at the swap meet. All right, so this is my first time game hunting, and I must say it was a great time. But honestly, it was just fun to hang out with all these guys. I haven't seen Jer in like, I don't know, since yesterday, so that was pretty cool. Got some really cool stuff, but really the best part about it, as always, is just hanging out, having fun with friends. You know, it was just, it was cool. It was fun. It was a great day. My first time with these guys in the swap meet, and it was awesome. I got a lot of stuff. I love you. Oh, I love you. Next.
time. And right when we walk in, I get handed a bunch of things that were in the back. Anytime you get things that are unpriced, this is how you get good deals. Quanto Cuesta 25. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in. Round in. 50 cents. <laughs> How much for the picture of this beautiful man? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, Jesus. <laughs>